Hey guys, today we have a good, good interview today. We're gonna to have one with Adam with the owner of OxyTurf, which is gonna change the way your turf acts and smells for the most, for the best, best maintenance package ever. So stay tuned, I'm gonna bring Adam on. Hey Adam, what are you doing? Ah, sorry about that. Just <laughs> smelling that fresh cut grass. I like it. How are you? Like it. Good, good, good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. So how's it there? Oh, it's it's going. Just experiencing a little drought here, but that's good mm -hmm. for the turf business. Yeah, it sure is, man. Yep. Absolutely. So, uh, how's it over there in uh, California? Same. Yeah. Dry as can be, man. Dry as can be. But uh, turf industry is booming. Uh, turf maintenance industry is booming. Uh, awesome. So going good. Yeah, man. Good, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the full screen. And I kind of want you to just tell me your story about how you got into turf um, and then the OxyTurf story and all of that, if you don't mind. Yeah. No, my pleasure. Yeah. Happy to be on the show, man. Thanks for having me on. And uh, yeah. Um, so I guess my, my, uh, turf demoni we'll call, it, I like to call it my turf demoni is, uh, how I got into the business. You know, I was, a I was a, a, a golf instructor, you know, prior to, to getting into the industry and, um, did that for quite a while and, um, decided to build a, a buddy of mine, a putting green and, uh, it's probably the worst, worst install ever. Right. Uh, but, you know, I, I turned that into a business and uh, learned the, the business from the ground up, had a, had a company that I started in Southern California called Turf Soldier. Uh, had that for close to 10 years here in SoCal. And uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, bootstrapped it and, and ran the business and, and built it up. Um, but through that journey, you know, and, and how I was taught um, was that turf is, you know, set it and forget it. Um, you never have to maintain it, water it, clean it, uh, or anything else. And, and, you know, I'm sure like you did and, and most turf professionals, you realize that, hmm, this stuff needs a little bit of maintenance, um, especially, uh, pet turf and sports turf, right? Stuff gets, uh, pretty smelly and pretty dirty, pretty quick. Um, so, um, you know, I, I sought out, uh, the help and experience of a hundred year old, uh, contract bottler, the Goodwin company, um, from here in, in Southern California. Um, and you know, they've been creating products and, and manufacturing for over a hundred years. Um, so, you know, I, I, I got with the team here and, uh, we, we got to work on, uh, creating OxyTurf, OxyTurf. Now, um, prior to OxyTurf, um, probably 95% of the products that were offered in the industry um, were different technology, live enzyme based technology. Um, whereas OxyTurf is a, a newer technology. Um, so we created a, a disinfectant, uh, for turf and, uh, even got it to smell like real grass. So, um, yeah, OxyTurf is a, is a completely different animal, but, uh, uh, early in, in the OxyTurf years, um, through Instagram, uh, I was able to reach out to Nick Ogilvie. And um, he was doing a job up in Bakersfield, about three hours north uh, of where I'm at right now. And uh, I drove up and put a handshake on him. And uh, man, what a good guy, man. I'm so glad I did. And from there, uh, we just became, we became good buddies and we've done a lot of business together. Um, Nick's had me out to Texas multiple times. Um, and uh, we've been promoting turf maintenance uh, ever since. So that's kind of my turf demoni. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, Adam. Yeah. You know, one one thing that really, uh, it, it's funny how things work as far as like the Instagram and stuff like you're talking about. Um, I guess one thing that really sold me on on you 
and it was on OxyTurf is you actually made that three hour drive as I was in Bakersfield doing the install. You bet. And nonetheless, it was an install at a prison for a soccer field. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what am I walking into here, man? So yeah, so yeah, yeah. you hopped off the loader, man. You hopped right out of that loader, man. I'm like, oh, look at Haas, man. This guy's <laughs> this guy's awesome, man. This is my kind of guy right here, you know, the guy that gets in there and, and you know, like I did, man. I, I I was the I was the third hand, man. If if we needed, you know, a wheelbarrow filled, I would fill it, you know, or, mm -hmm. or whatever it took, you know, and you were, you were that kind of guy too, man, whatever it takes to, to get the job done. Right, man. You're, you, yeah. You're and I think it. that's, I think in business, a lot of people don't see that. Right. As far mm -hmm. as, Oh, the owners out there actually working, actually mm -hmm. doing, I mean, they think we're sitting behind a desk all day, just chilling. We're out the golf yeah. course, chilling. pointing the finger. Right. Exactly. And, and, and we're not. And so, um, that's kind of, I mean, just like you said, I mean, you made that drive. We met, I mean, in an instant, I mean, we've done some business together and I firmly believe your product's the best. Um, I've yeah. used other, other products out there and uh, yeah, yours is the best by hands, hands down. Um, so another thing now, did you know it's been two years since we cleaned Salinas mm -hmm. high school football field? Yeah, since we were on the news. Yeah, in Dallas. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna tell the people a little bit, a little story on that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, another another good solid solid deal that OxyTurf did is they came down. We met with Coach Elliot, who was amazing, and mm -hmm. they came out and we cleaned this turf field for free. They were involved with the community. And that's what I like about OxyTurf. They're in with the community. And so we cleaned that whole field and inside as well and disinfected the whole thing. And mm. one thing, you know, that Adam says it smells like real grass, but he also says it smells like touchdowns. You bet. And it sure does. And so it was a 55-gallon drum. Mm -hmm. And what was the score that Friday night? So, so we like to say that OxyTurf has FET built in. So that's focus enhancing technology, right? So when your athletes and players smell the real grass, it's that game time scent, the gridiron scent, right? We're bringing that back. So what that does, it, it locks your players in so they focus more and they play better. And so like Nick was just pointing out, we went out on a Thursday. Um, we have a, a, a kit with a tow behind sprayer and 55 gallon drums for fields and schools, right? So they can DIY, which is disinfect it yourself. So we brought the kit out, we hooked up our sprayer to their existing golf cart, right? Filled up, you know, the, the sprayer multiple times, 55 gallons we put out on that field, um, sprayed it on a Thursday and they went out the next night they were 0-3, I think, on the season, and we turned their season around because they went out on that Friday night and whooped the team 55 to nothing, right? <laughs> Remember? Exactly. So they scored one point per gallon we put on the field. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. right. So what? Yeah. Um, what's some, I guess, some uh, challenges that um, say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a banner that goes on the bottom that has how they can purchase OxyTurf. Right. And um, just kind of, I guess, tell tell them uh, how much it is um, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, if you could go over that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, some of the challenges, though, um, obviously, is is just creating the category of turf maintenance, right, is um, reintroducing the fact that uh, turf is low maintenance, not no maintenance. Right. So um, there is some maintenance involved. And, you know, turf companies and turf installers and turf professionals, they need to be promoting that, right? Because, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of business uh, to be had, uh, money to be made in turf maintenance, offering that as, you know, an uh, arm of your business and, and another service, right? Another revenue stream. So that's one of the things that we're good at helping companies do is, is start turf maintenance divisions or programs to go out and, and take their dead end customer list, right? They're one and done, set it and forget it, 
customer list of you know hundreds or thousands of customers, right? And then reapproach them with a maintenance package or a maintenance service to come out weekly, monthly, quarterly, biannually, annually, and service that turf, right? Bring it back to life, um, get it smelling right, get it looking right. And then while you're there, you can do seam repairs. You can do, you can fill voids, you know, low spots. Um, you can upsell, hey, did you ever think about turfing that area over here? So now you're, you're you know, you're uh, increasing your sales, but also what we found is you become turf neutral, right? Turf neutral. So you're not just now servicing your turf, you can go service, you know, all the turf in town, if you will, Absolutely. right? So, Absolutely. so it's introducing, yeah, it's introducing that kind of uh, mindset, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. And absolutely. And that's kind of like in the turf industry, we have no, you know, at one time we had no uh, monthly recurring revenue, MRR. Mm -hmm. And really OxyTurf's creating that space mm -hmm. that yeah. uh, we can add add value. Right. Yeah. And, and we, we even take it a step further, Nick, is, is to um, help our, our resellers or our distributors sell through. Right. So, right. so um, by that, I mean, um, we've been able to... Uh, create uh, e-commerce platforms for a lot of our resellers and our distributors, right? That they didn't have before, you know? Um, so um, we're able to create an e-commerce website um, for them to sell our products. Uh, and we attach a QR code even to that, uh, to that site. And that QR code goes on every bottle they sell. So when their customer uh, finishes the bottle, you know, they just scan that QR code it goes back to their e-commerce site and now they have, you know, another revenue stream, right? Where they absolutely they, they're selling turf maintenance products. Yeah. So so that's that's kind of, you know, a few of the challenges we've been able to overcome um, and ways that we've been able to promote the product and, you know, help our resellers sell through that. That's our main objective. You know, you can buy it from from us once, but I want to help you, you know, sell it, sell it through and, and rebuy it. Right. And absolutely. And so, you know, that's, that's our goal, right? And, and you're providing a, a premium product uh, to your to your customer base, right? Which is even more important. Customer yeah, service. Right. yeah, exactly. And so that again is kind of my motto is, you know, our, lug, our Lux Blades luxury in every step. We're not the cheapest, but we're the best. There you and go, our man. customers And our customers deserve the best. Mm -hmm. And they get what they pay for. And so that's, you know, that's another reason why we use OxyTurf. There you, you go, man. Yeah, for. exactly. Yeah. I mean, it is a premium product, but again, it's, it's maximum strength. Okay. It's, it's, uh, it's, a it's was made that way. Maximum strength to be a, a very high powered alternative. It's a hospital grade disinfectant, right. That smells like real grass. Um, for your turf. So same stuff that they would maybe use in the operating room, right? Now you're using it out on your turf, on your fields um, to clean and disinfect it. And prior to COVID, okay, um, it was developed, obviously, uh, to kill staph, MRSA, E. coli, 99.9% .9 of all harmful and odor-causing bacteria that, that you find in turf, right? And then COVID came around. Uh, OxyTurf does kill COVID in under three minutes. Um, so that's, you know, a, a that's impressive proud badge that we hang. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a hospital grade, high power disinfectant for your turf versus what was offered previously um, in, in, in form of, of live enzyme products that one, they need water, right, to be effective. Yep. Okay. And that's, you know, in Texas, California and other, you know, highly um, drought potential areas, right? Um, OxyTurfs are ready to use. So there's no added water, there's no mixing, diluting. Um, so you're gonna save a step there. Um, and then the other products, they dry out fast. Uh, that good bacteria tends to die in extreme heat or extreme cold um, conditions where OxyTurf doesn't have any environmental restrictions, right? So it right. uh, goes to work on contact, it has a 10 minute dwell time, they call it, um, the EPA. And uh, uh, yeah, after after which it's completely safe for people, plants, and pets. Awesome. So, is it the only artificial turf approved cleaner, or how, how does that? Work? So, so it's the only EPA registered synthetic turf disinfectant with the scent of real grass. Okay. Perfect. So, Perfect. When we started on this project, um, you know, I, 
my idea was, you know, to create something that smelled like real grass for, for turf, right. To, to clean it. Um, mm -hmm. and the people who are good when, uh, we took it, a, a 10 steps further, um, oxy turf, it's actually a, a four in one. Okay. So it's a cleaner, it's a degreaser, it's a disinfectant and a deodorizer in one. Okay. Um, uh, and what we found is that, um, when, when, uh, when turf's next to sprinklers or you leave sprinklers in your, in your turf installs, that's, that's a popular yeah. option. But what'll happen is, is you'll get a, a white residue, right? A hard water deposit buildup. Um, OxyTurf actually takes that out of turf, right? Which That's is awesome. pretty sweet. Um, OxyTurf is also a fungus stat, mildew stat, right? An EPA registered fungus stat. So it kills fungus, mold, and mildew that can build up in turf and under turf, right? That's um, we found that OxyTurf uh, helps control flea populations. It kills flea eggs. Um, and it, it, it weakens their, their exoskeleton, right? So it, it, you know, helps kill fleas. It kills mosquito eggs and actually, um, it deters mosquitoes. We've come to find out through testing, um, <laughs> awesome. a lot of other value propositions, right? Built into OxyTurf than just being a, a turf, you know, cleaner disinfectant, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's been a fun journey. Um, you can use OxyTurf on your aggregate, right? On your rock, your aggregate, on your patio furniture. Uh, it'll clean and disinfect your football equipment, your gym equipment. Uh, like it is a, a hard surface hospital grade disinfectant, right? So there's a broad spectrum of use with this stuff. I like that because, really yeah, I, I like that because if we're cleaning turf at a playground and they have a playground set, mm -hmm. you can spray that bad boy down as well. And... Mm -hmm. That way it cleans that. So, you, bet. you know, you set it and forget it, right? I mean, bam, it's done. Yeah. Yeah. It's a no scrub, no rinse formula as well, which, uh, you know, a lot of the, the previous, you know, technology products um, require that you pre-wet the turf or pre-wet the surface and then also rinse it off. Um, mm -hmm. OxyTurf is a no scrub, no rinse formula, leaves no residual. So um, it's not, it's not going to leave anything on the field. Uh, most importantly, too, when you talk about a residual that could cause a slip, right? So there's no additional slip factor or risk factor um, when using OxyTurf out in your sports fields. Awesome. So how how many times does a person need to do Does it just I mean, I'm sure it varies on application, but say like a, a homeowner mm -hmm. with a couple dogs, how often yeah. do they need to use OxyTurf? So if it's new turf, okay, um, and you're proactively cleaning it and you're staying up on it, a thousand square feet per gallon, okay, is our general coverage. Um, if it's older turf that hasn't been cleaned in a long time, you've got multiple dogs using it, you're going to want to double or even triple up that first couple of times that you apply it, okay? And then again, like you said, each case is different, right? How many dogs you have? What's the climate? Are they male, female? How was the turf installed? Did they use weed cloth on accident? Is there deodorizer infill? Um, so there's variables, right? But generally, right, you're going to want to double up or triple up on, on the amount of coverage like you would shock your pool or when you take antibiotics, you kind of take a lot to begin with. Sure. So what you want to do is get OxyTurf down into the infill, through the backing, into the base, right? That, that's generally where most of that bacteria will, will hide and live and fester, right? So, you know, typically... To begin, 500 square feet per gallon, right? And then once you get it under control, you get all that bacteria killed, and then you stay on top of it. 1,000 square feet per gallon is our general coverage area. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Well, uh, do you have anything else that you want to tell the people, that uh, anything that you might have left out before we end? Well, you know, obviously um, they can go to our website, oxyturf.com, right and visit our shop and at checkout they can enter lux blades for a 15 percent discount off their order um that's what i first want to let everybody know um, <laughs> and then uh yeah feel free to reach out to us with any questions about turf maintenance that you might have um if you're a reseller or a distributor or a turf company and you're interested in, in learning more about uh offering turf maintenance as a service or a package or becoming a reseller of oxyturf uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can 
go to oxyturf.com. Um, we have a phone number there, or an email uh, link there. Uh, you can go to our social media, oxyturf, uh, Instagram and Facebook. Um, you can contact us there and Twitter. Um, yes. But uh, yeah, I appreciate the time, Nick, man. Thanks for having me on so much. And uh, oh, yeah. again, you're, you're one of the good guys in the industry, buddy. That's for sure. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. I know you're very busy. So thank you. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Right. Take care.